Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you may be seated in his presence if you can. Hallelujah. Loving and righteous and holy God. Just the, the pleasure and the privilege of being able to, to worship him in his presence. Holy, the only, only the living God can do that. Only the living God can do that. Glory to your name, O oh God. Then all we need to do is praise him. All we need to do is, is, is gather in his name. All we need to do. Hmm. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a long standing, it's a running appointment, if you will. <laughs> because he promises that whenever it happens, he'll be there. He promises that, that if we praise him, he'll be enthroned upon those praises. Glory. And I, I, it's a privilege. It's a privilege because it's like a, it's like it's like a lowly carpenter who labors in in obscurity, and then a, a, a king comes and says, "I want you to make my throne." The privilege of, of of the king coming and saying, "I want you to make my throne." Somebody who doesn't even know how to, <laughs> and and he comes and says, "I was I was I was I was moved years ago when we when we had some friends that that." They were renewing their vows, and then the husband came to me and he said, I, "I want you to videotape the the ceremony, and I, and I'll pay you for it." I was like, "Well, I don't know much about doing it. This is I want you to do it." So that made me want to do my best mm -hmm. and do that. See, because he didn't know me like that. He didn't know if I had any skills or aptitude with a camera or anything like that. But he he trusted me with his re vow renewal. See. And that's just a that, just a man. That's that's a man saying, "I trust you to do this." Holy living God says, "If you will but praise my name, but praise my name, because out of everything out there that has breath that might be praising me, I'm gonna sit enthroned upon Hallelujah. Jesus. I'm gonna sit enthroned upon the praises of my people. Oh, yeah. Thank Glory. Thank you. Glory. Glory. Or I can't even I can't even imagine I can't even visualize what that is because all the praises go up, all the praises go up. But he's only enthroned upon the ones that come up from his children. I don't know how he does it. I don't need to hold know how he does it. All I need to know is that he does it because he said. All right. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. So so we're throne building. Whenever we just say, God, thank you for what you've done. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Boy, woo, our scripture this morning. Hallelujah. God is good. He's a mighty and loving God. Hallelujah. And we've been talking about salvation. And in, in, in talking about salvation, I just almost get excited all over again because... That's the reason why we're here. That's why that's the reason why we come together. That's the reason why we we worship Him. That's the reason why we can worship Him in spirit and in truth. That's the reason He created us to save us. That's that's the sole reason, so that we could have this relationship with Him. That's the sole reason. Salvation. Salvation and 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 I don't have those notes before me, but they in the, uh, again we talked about last week in the Old Testament in the Hebrew and in the New Testament in the Greek, the, the the words that are used for salvation they all basically have the same meaning of of rescue, to to save, to bring to to bring to health, to deliver from, to rescue, and, and, and we made the point of that you never need to be rescued. Unless there's danger, unless there's peril, unless you're in trouble somehow. Because if, 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 if the sin of the garden didn't put every single life after that in peril, in danger of, then Jesus would never have had to come. There would have been no need for a rescue. When was the last time you saw a fire department rush up to a house that wasn't on fire? Chopping down the door. <laughs> Telling people, get out, get out, get out. Because there's no need. There's no need. They'll be buying somebody a new door. 
Amen. <laughs> Answering a lot of questions. See, so God didn't do anything that wasn't necessary, but it was necessary because it was all part of his plan to get us to this point, to get us to after the cross and everything that's available to us after the cross because he died for us. Amen. Well, this salvation that we talk about, the, 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 the coming into the saving knowledge that Jesus died for our sins. That, that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, but the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. And that we must believe. As Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. You must be born again. So there's a requirement. There's a requirement. And as I was looking up salvation that in the New Testament in, in Jesus' teachings in, in through the Gospels Jesus only mentions the word salvation two times once when he was speaking to Nicodemus and the other time when he was talking to when he was talking actually about Zacchaeus and those were the only two times Jesus came to bring salvation but he only used that word itself two times we talked about Nicodemus last week. This week we're talking about Zacchaeus. Turn to Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. I'm going to read verses 1 through 10 because that is the account of Jesus and Zacchaeus. I'm going to read it from the King James Version. And it says, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho and behold there was a man named Zacchaeus which was the chief among the publicans and he was rich <laughs> and he sought to, to see Jesus who he was and could not for the press because he was little of stature and he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. He made haste, and he made haste, and he came down, and he received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying he was that he was gone to be guest with a man who is, that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore to him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house. For as much as he also is the son of Abraham, for the son of man is come to seek and save that which was lost. Amen. Amen. Salvation. Salvation. Salvation has come to his house. Oh, Zacchaeus. So what we have here is... This is a demonstration of use to Said he was a rich man. Said he was the, the chief of the publicans. But when he heard that Jesus was coming, he sought to see Jesus. It says, it didn't just, it says, it goes beyond, it says, and he sought to see Jesus who he was. He wanted to see Jesus. He didn't want to just get a look at the crowd going by. He didn't just want, because he was a short man. He, there was something that, 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 that had to go on between, there was, there was an interaction. There was, there was some sort of interaction that he was looking for. He didn't try to press through to get to and, 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 and speak to Jesus. It was just for Zacchaeus. It was just important that he see, see Jesus. 
because there was a crowd, there was a there was a press. They, 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 because of the press, he couldn't get there. And so we, and he he had tried where he was. Have you short people, producer. you know, got to jump up, and you know he's trying to. I'm sure look. So he, uh, you know what? This ain't working. <laughs> he ran down the road, got ahead of the crowd, climbed up into a sycamore tree. Now the the the, the, the sycamore tree that they're talking about is a kind of a. Uh, see a version of the, like a palm tree that kind of spreads out and it grows low, but it was low enough to where he could climb up into it and have a vantage point to be seen to, to see Jesus. He wasn't climbing up to be seen; he was climbing up to see Jesus. And as Jesus came by, looked up and saw him. Just noticed him in the tree along the road. I know Christ was, I'm sure, accustomed to a lot of things as he was, you know, coming and going. The caravan going by and everything. I'm sure he was accustomed to it. But, but somebody in a tree had to catch his eye. I'm sure it caught his eye. This is a demonstration. Of Jesus being who he was, there was no need for an introduction. <laughs> Zacchaeus, come down. Come on down, man. Get, get, get down from there. <laughs> I must abide. I must abide at thy house. For Jesus to see is the key is to make that kind of effort. Not to press through the crowd to, to, to get in his face and introduce himself. Or to, to ask for what he could receive from Jesus. Or even to say, I invite you to my house so that I can gain status from you being there. But just to see him. It's like the song we just like just to know him. Just to see, just to lay eyes on Jesus, to see who he is. And Jesus' response was, Oh, Zacchaeus, all right then. Come down, for I must abide at your house. You see, in this is a demonstration culturally speaking, producer. it was meaningful to break bread at someone's house. It was meaningful to say, I will go and sup with you. And for Jesus to make that assertion, for Jesus to initiate that assertion, said something to Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus, he hastened down. He, he As quickly as he got up in the tree to get there, you know, they had to beat everybody, beat the crowd and everything. He hastened back down and says he received him joyfully. Because whatever it was, Zacchaeus was, 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 was seeking from the Lord. He was satisfied just being in the tree, getting to see Jesus as he went by. He was satisfied. But it didn't stop there. It didn't stop there because Jesus said, I'm coming to your house. And what I find significant here, it doesn't offer any details of once they got there. This is a demonstration of stream producer. Who else was there? Anything. But as soon as he came down, and, and, and received him joyfully. Verse 7 says, And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be the guest of a man that is a sinner. The crowds. Watch out for the crowds. Because they, they're going along with Jesus. Wherever Jesus is going, wherever he's on his way to, they're right there with him. They are right there with him. For whatever reason, hanging out, you know, maybe they, you don't know. Trying to gain their improve their status doesn't say, but we do know that when Jesus tells Zacchaeus come down, they all had to know who Zacchaeus was. He was the chief of publicans and he was rich. Plus, he was a, a short dude, you know. So, 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 so there was something they recognized about him. There's something they knew about Zacchaeus, but 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 they told on themselves. That he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Jesus, once again, wow. Is this is this guy, is he going to get it right? He's always hanging out with these sinners. 
but they didn't go. It doesn't say who went. It doesn't say who showed up. The next thing we know is that after they all murmured, they all murmured, Jesus didn't even address it. Because he had, he, had he had his own agenda to carry out. More important business to see to than their murmuring. Verse 8. Again, this is it's like a fast forward. We go from the murmuring to now Zacchaeus. <laughs> and Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore to him fourfold. Think back. And it's actually just a few, the previous, book back in, no, not the previous book. Anyway, think back to when Jesus was talking to Nicodemus. The whole conversation took place. Producer. You must be born again. Jesus lays out the steps of salvation. Nicodemus didn't quite get it. He says, well, if, I, if, if, if I'm explaining it to you in earthly terms and you're not getting it, then you're definitely not going to get it if I bring it to you in heavenly terms, in kingdom terms. You're not going to get it. And Zacchaeus snuck out and came to Jesus. What did I say? Zacchaeus? My bad. <laughs> Nicodemus, Nick at night, he snuck out. He snuck out for audience with Jesus. He snuck out because he didn't want to. He didn't want to be seen seeking audience with Jesus. He didn't want to be seen because of his position. He didn't want to be seen. It would have been detrimental to him in his position to be seen seeking out Jesus. It would have been detrimental for the crowd who would have been. Jesus was rarely, rarely alone <laughs> when he was in cities. There was all because the Pharisees, number one, were always there, close by. Trying to trip him up, trying to see where they could, where they could, you know, uh, get get a get a word in edgewise, try to try to try to disprove him. So for for Nicodemus, in order to 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 find what he was trying to find, his position was more important than what he was trying to find out about salvation. See, he was trying to see if he could somehow find something that he could hide under his cloak, hide under, hide, hide under his position, and he could still maintain his position. Demonstration of stream producer. He was trying to see if, if, if somehow what Jesus was offering could fit into his lifestyle without changing his lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. If he could, if he could do this salvation thing and still stay in his position and still keep his social stature, Zacchaeus didn't care anything about any of that. Zacchaeus stands up and makes a declaration and says, "Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor." This is what's about to happen. This, this is so by him standing up and and, and making that statement after he's spent. Probably his adult life accumulating and accruing all of this. He was a chief of he was a chief of publicans, and he was a rich man. So in that day, yeah, it it it, it would be would have been mentioned if he if it would have just been an inheritance. But he worked and and by his own confession, if I've taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore to him fourfold. When he was saying if, he wasn't saying it as if he wasn't sure whether or not he had done that. He was saying it more in the, in the relation of because I have, since I have, I'm going to return. So half of what he had accumulated, he was going to give to the poor. With the rest of what he had, he was going to restore to those whom he had wronged. So his previous life, his previous mindset had been about gathering all this, all this up for himself. Self-centered. But his encounter with Christ changed his life, changed his heart, and changed his mindset in such a way. He says... <laughs> Half of what I have, I'm going to give to the poor. 
and the rest, with the rest, I'm going to restore unto those whom I have wronged. Fourfold. Fourfold. Now, the significance of that is, if we turn back one chapter to Luke chapter 18 and verse 18, that's Jesus' encounter with the rich young ruler. Demonstration of Ustream producer. The rich young ruler who came running up to Jesus, calling him good master, calling him good teacher, calling calling him good as if to try to get in, get in, get in good, earn some brownie points. And Jesus challenges this young man. Because he approached Jesus again. Nick at night. He slips out, trying to preserve, trying to hold on to, trying to see if this salvation, if he could slip it under, you know, slip it in and still do that and keep his keep what he already had going, his hustle, if you will. Now you got the rich young ruler who has also built up himself. He's accumulated. He has accrued all these different things that puff him up, that, 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 that elevate him in the eyes of man and in his, I'm sure in his own head as well. Demonstration of you and Jesus, when Jesus confronts him, he says, well, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And I, as many times as I've read that, it just dawned on me God just showed me that, that he wasn't necessarily looking to be saved. But he heard about this eternal life thing. How can I get in on that? This is a demonstration of you stream producer. What can I do to, to, to inherit eternal life? So, Jesus already knows what's going on. That's why Jesus presents him with a heart check. And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? <laughs> Say, none is good. Save none, save one, that is God. He says, Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother. <laughs> and he said, All of these <laughs> have I kept from my youth. So check. Check, check, check. I'm good. Waiting for it. Now he's waiting for his, his his eternal life diploma, his eternal life certificate. You know, so he can go home and put the code in his computer and he's, he's got eternal life now all of a sudden. But Jesus said, okay, all right, you, you, we'll check that off. I'll, I'll give you those. Demonstration of you stream producer. Verse 22, he's, now Jesus heard these things and he said unto him, you lackest one thing you lack one thing sell all that thou hast and distribute unto the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and then come follow me this is very interesting because this just a few passages later Zacchaeus is making that declaration without having to be challenged, without having to have it put before him as a checklist, without having to. So his experience with Jesus caused him to make that declaration. His experience with Jesus as he was seeking Jesus for what he was seeking for from Jesus prompted him, prompted Zacchaeus to change his life. His experience with Jesus changed his life because he was because of what he was seeking he climbed a tree to, to see Jesus who he was Nicodemus was trying to find out the truth about Jesus but he was trying to preserve his position 
as well. The, the rich young ruler was trying to attain eternal life so that he could add it to his collection of diplomas, of, of, of titles, and, and, and everything else. He wanted to add Jesus to his collection as opposed to becoming a part of what Jesus was and what Jesus was doing. But Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, the tree because he wanted to know who Jesus was. He wanted to see who Jesus was. And again, verse 23, Luke 18, talk about the rich young ruler. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. So this eternal life that he was seeking was going to, in his eyes, cost him too much. So he was sorrowful and he, and he walked away. Zacchaeus, on the other hand, who experienced Jesus, this is a demonstration Jesus, I am the way, producer. the truth, and the life. He sought Jesus. He, he wanted to find out the truth. He was seeking the truth. He was seeking the way. He was seeking life. Because all that stuff that he had wasn't satisfying. If it was any in any way satisfying with him, his curiosity wouldn't have, wouldn't have been piqued. If it was in, in any way satisfying or gratifying to him to the level that he wanted it to be, that he thought it would be when he was accumulating and accruing it all, that I'm sure until he heard about who Jesus was, he was, there was a certain level of contentment. There was a certain level of satisfaction. But when he heard about Jesus, when he heard about the things that Jesus has done, when he heard about the teaching, when he heard about the person who Jesus was, and then he heard Jesus was coming this way, and when he made an effort to see him on his own, but his own physical limitations prevented him from being able to see, then he did everything in his power to get into a position to where he could see Jesus for who he was. And because he made that effort, because he determined in his heart that he needed to see Jesus for who he was, Jesus was able to call him down and give him what exactly he was looking for. Nicodemus just didn't get it. The rich young ruler was very sorrowful. Zacchaeus. This is a demonstration. Zacchaeus producer. made a declaration. Behold. That's the attention getter. In the, in the, in the word, when they, when they, behold. Check it out. Pay attention to what's being said next. Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, those whom I've overlooked for all these years, for all this time, those whom I've disdained, those whom I've made efforts, great efforts to stay away from, half of my goods I give to the poor, half of my goods, not just my wealth, not just my money, but my goods. And I can challenge the rich young ruler. Sell all that you have and distribute to the poor. And here Zacchaeus is making that very declaration because of his experience with Christ. And then he goes on to say that if I've taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore to him fourfold. That's a changed heart. That's a changed heart. That's a changed mindset. That's what salvation does for us. Changes our heart and our mind. Changes the way we live. Changes this on the inside. Would we say, you thought I was worth saving? You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. So you cleaned me up inside. 
when you watch those flipping shows and they're, they're gonna they're, they're, they're gonna uh, uh, buy a house they're redoing the inside the outside will get some curb appeal some update and some upgrade but the majority what's going to sell that house what's going to make that house more valuable is the inside you gotta you gotta go in sometimes they gotta gut it sometimes they want to take out some walls and you take out a load bearing wall you gotta put a beam in there to go all the way across sometimes a wood beam will do it sometimes a steel beam will do it but 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 it provides greater support it provides greater support because sometimes in our inside ourselves we've built up walls that God needs to remove. Mm. This is a demonstration. See, but if but if, if he removes them and doesn't put something in there, then the house will fall down. The roof will cave in, the second floor will come crashing down. So all of that other stuff that we tried to fill our lives with, money, cars, position status, all those other things, God's knocking all those walls down. But so that the house won't come crashing down, so the second floor won't come crashing on the first floor, so the roof won't come caving in, he puts a beam in there. The Holy Spirit. See? He puts the Holy Spirit in there. And that begins to hold the house up. And now everything that, 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 that now the new floor plan that God has for us can be, it can come to fruition now. Now you, you got the good sight line. Now you got the open concept that you wanted because you wanted all those all those all those all those walls removed and everything. See? So we're God's best flipping project. Hallelujah. He's gutted it. See. And then sometimes when you tear down the, the you 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 don't even have to tear down all the walls sometimes. You know you're not removing walls, but you tear down the drywall, you get to the studs, and what you find is there's mold on the inside. So that mold has to be remediated. It's got to be removed. See, but when when God comes in on the inside, He cleaned me up inside. When He comes in, see, when we when we go from that 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 condemnation that we're in before Christ, and we come in, Jesus, He is the light of the world. God places that light of the world inside us, and darkness is driven out. Darkness is driven out. See, and that's what salvation is. Darkness being driven out of our soul. When we receive Christ. When we receive Christ. We, but, we, but we have to receive Christ. Because it's the equivalent of sitting down to a meal and not putting one morsel in your mouth. It does you no good. It does you no good. It is... The equivalent to knowing the, the right things to eat, demonstration but still taking in all producer. the wrong stuff, it does you no good. But until you take that knowledge and apply it to your life, Nicodemus didn't get it. He just didn't get it. The rich young ruler rejected it. Zacchaeus was all in. Zacchaeus was all in. He made the declaration. Of you stream produced. Behold, Lord. Behold. <laughs> he stood up. So in that in that context, whatever dinner was eaten was was finished, and he had experienced Christ at such a level. He says, Wow. Well, I can't keep going on the way I'm going. I can't keep doing it this way. There's a better way. There's a better way. And it doesn't say what the dinner conversation was. It doesn't say. It doesn't say what other guests were in there. It doesn't say. Why? Because that's not important. We know that Zacchaeus experienced Christ. And because he experienced Christ, because he sought to see Jesus, who he was, because he had that hunger, because he had he made that effort. And that was just because of what he had apparently heard about Jesus. This is a demonstration of you stream producing. What he had heard and the situation being what it was, where he was. You know, the Pharisees probably had been saying things about him, but you know that others had been speaking truth. 
You've heard about his miracles, you've heard about his teaching, and you've heard that the Pharisees say this, and, 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 and the Sadducees say that, and the scribes, they all say this. Well, something he heard, something he heard, he had to see. This is a he had to see stream producer. for himself. So he experiences Jesus, and verse 9, verse 9. And Jesus said unto him, this day is salvation come to this house. <laughs> for as much as he is also a son of Abraham, for the son of man is coming to seek and save the, that which was lost. This day has salvation come this is a day into this house, of Ustream producer. into this dwelling, into this abode, into this House, which is the, the, the house of Zacchaeus himself, this day is salvation come. This day is the rescuing come. This day is the healing come. This day, Amen. this day, based on Zacchaeus' declaration, based on Zacchaeus' decision to give his life over to change the way that he's doing things. Of you stream producer. Based on that, this day is salvation come. Because of the change of heart, because of the change of mindset, because of the change that has taken place in Zacchaeus's life. Because he experienced Jesus. Because he heard what he had heard, and it prompted him, and it pricked him, and it urged him, and it unctioned him. To have to climb a tree because what he was, the view that he was getting, the glimpses, was unsatisfactory. This is a demonstration of you stream producer. So he had to get himself into a position where he could see Jesus, who he was. And again, he didn't press his way, he didn't fight his way through the crowd so that he could get face time with Jesus. He got to the point where he didn't have to battle the crowds where he could get and get a unobstructed view an unobstructed view Zacchaeus's account, account between the, demonstration the rich young ruler producer. Jesus he goes on to foretell his passion after see after his account with the rich young ruler verse 31 through 34, Jesus is talking about his, his, you know, he talks about the resurrection. He's going to have to, you know, give his life. After that is where he heals the blind man. And the blind man who heard the crowds going by, he said, who is this going by? And it's Jesus. And they tell him to be quiet when he starts yelling Jesus' name. But he gets louder. And Jesus hears, see, and, 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 and comes and, 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 and heals him. And... In verse 42 of Luke 18, Jesus says, he tells the blind man, receive thy sight, thy faith has saved thee. I looked up in the parallel Bible and the, all the other versions say, thy faith has healed thee. Because even he even said that to the the, uh, the one with the issue of blood, thy faith has healed thee. But here in the King James Version, when he's talking to the blind man, thy faith has saved thee. Because the blind man, and it, and, and and even when he when he calls out to him, the blind man, he says, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, thou son of David. See, he wasn't calling on the, the, the Jesus that he had heard of. The, heard the negative stuff about. But he was calling on the Jesus in line with who Jesus, how Jesus had presented himself. In line with what he knew to be true. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. There was a call. There was a there was an earnest. Plea this is a demonstration to Jesus, the son of David, producing. recognizing who he is in the context of how he presented himself. And Jesus heard him. He says, thy faith has saved thee. 
has rescued you from your blindness, has healed you from your inability to see. Thy faith has saved the Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of works. <coughs> Excuse me. His faith saved him. This is a Zacchaeus is experienced with producer. Christ because of it and his declaration that he's going to change his life now, that he's going to live differently now because he has experienced Jesus. This day has salvation come to your house, has, has rescuing, has deliverance, has restoration come to your house. This is I believe the means by which this Jesus intends for us. A view stream producer. One of the means, I'll say, by which Jesus intends for us to share the gospel, to spread the gospel, to, to bring the gospel to those who don't know him. We might have opportunity to sit down with somebody and share, you know, the verses and the scriptures. And we look for those opportunities because we want people to come and have that salvation knowledge. We want them to have that salvation experience. But if that does, ne if it never comes to pass, if it never comes to fruition, we want them to be able to see Christ in our lives. Because just like Zacchaeus getting up in that tree so that he could see and get a good view of who Jesus was, the world is watching us. The world is watching us. And by what they see, in us, through us, God doing through us, if we let our light so shine before men and give glory to God, if we'll do that, then that will be enough to put that fire in them, to put a desire in them to seek out Christ, <coughs> to seek out Christ so that in the next moment, in the next opportunity, so that in the next chance that they get, to when they they might hear that Jesus is coming this way, that they'll call in the tree and Jesus will call upon them. Mm -hmm. See, <laughs> where we don't always get a chance to plant the seed. But if we're letting our light so shine, we may be planting. If we're letting our light so shine before men, we may be watering. If we're letting our light so shine before men, then we may get the opportunity to 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 <clears throat> to lead them into that. But just as Jesus was on his way, he had passed through Jericho. He had come to and passed through Jericho, and he was on his way somewhere else. I'm betting that when back when he was talking to Nicodemus, back when he was when he was healing the blind man, if you looked at his schedule and his planner, it didn't say pluck Zacchaeus out of the tree and then go have dinner with him that night. Not on the schedule, not in the plan. But a lot of the stuff that Jesus did, a lot of the miracles, a lot of the lives that he saved, a lot of the healings that he did, were on the way somewhere. We're on the way somewhere. So we have to live our lives keeping our eye out for Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a small man. Jesus couldn't see him when he was in the crowd. Zacchaeus went up in the tree so that he could get the good view. Producer. For us, Zacchaeus just might be that annoying person that we encounter. <laughs> just might be that annoying person that we encounter. That might be them climbing the tree to get a good view of us. It just might be that 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 overly sinful person. Because when Jesus invited Zacchaeus down, there were murmurings. Oh, he's hanging out with that sinner. This that they would never have taken the time. Producer. That they wouldn't they wouldn't risk being seen with. This, this sinner. So we have to be careful. We have to make sure that our lives are all about getting the gospel out there, getting the truth about who Jesus is out there so that somebody else will, will, will come up behind us and, and start singing the song, You Thought I Was Worth Singing. Somebody else will come up and, and begin singing, Faithful is our God. This is a demonstration. They will have that opportunity. That they will that they will that sing that song just to know him, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. We want people to have that opportunity. 
We want people to come into that experience, that relationship with Christ that gives them opportunity to sing those songs, that gives them opportunity to worship our Heavenly Father in spirit and in truth the way He desires. Because they can't do it where they are. They can't do it where they are. We got to get them. We got to go out and get them. We got to look for them. We got to not ignore them. We got to not pass them by because of what they look like, because of what they sound like, because of how they act, how they behave, because of what's coming out of their mouth, because of what's coming off of their body. <laughs> we got to be looking for those opportunities. We got to be looking for those opportunities. Jesus on his way somewhere. On his way somewhere. On his way To he was Jairus' daughter, of the woman with the issue of, the, of blood, pulled on his garment. That was on the way. He could have easily just kept pressing because he had somewhere else to be. But when he felt that, when he felt that pulling, that drawing on his virtue, he had to stop and give attention. He had to stop and give attention. On our way, getting to where God has taken us, there are going to be those who, 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 who pull up on our garments. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. we got to stop and give attention where it's needed so that those whom God desires, God would that every man be saved. So in order for that to happen, it's obviously not happening because people die without him every day. But that doesn't give us an excuse not to give them opportunity. Amen. 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 So salvation. Salvation. We want to be able to make that declaration. Demonstration. And that everything that Jesus said producer. in there is not it's not our declaration. It's not our judgment. But we take it by the word and what the word says. But the word says, this day has salvation come to your house. We can't look at somebody and say you're saved and you're not saved. We can engage them and say, what is your relationship with Christ? Have you ever come to the point of, we can do that. We can do that and ascertain according to the word whether or not this they are. That's what God wants us to do. That's what God wants us to do. So let's take that opportunity. Amen. Amen. Bring salvation to the world. Give God some praise. <laughs> And he is that awesome and loving God to give us that, that opportunity for salvation. Mm, this is that. A